in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the filter function on multiple sheets here in Google Sheets. So let's say you want to filter some data that are found in different sheets right here. So here's my example data set. What I want to do is to filter all of these three sheets right here together using the filter function based on these criteria right here. So I've created a drop down with these four options. We have the camera bag, a tripod set, camera lens, and memory card, which are actually products that have been purchased on these different regions. And again, what I want to do is to use the filter function to show me all those filtered data right here. So before that, what we're going to do is to name our ranges to make it easier for us to input these different ranges on our formula. So let's go to the first sheet right here. We have the Midwest region. I'm going to select the entire data set, right click on it and go down to view more cell actions where we will find define named range. If I click on that, the named ranges panel will open on the right side. So I can just go ahead and put in the name that I want for this range. I'm just going to call it Midwest. There we go. Press enter. And there you have it. We've named our first range. Now, before we move on to our next sheet, we are actually going to name one more range from this data right here, which will be our criteria range. So this is one of the criteria that we're going to be using in our formula. So again, what we're going to do is to select that range right click on it and select the same selection, which would be define name range. Or if you already have your name range open on the right side, no need to do that. Just click on add a range right here. And there you have it. Now we can input again the name that we want for this range. So we're going to call this Midwest criteria. Remember, you cannot put any spaces in between your name ranges. If you do want to separate it, you can separate it with a underscore like so, but we're not going to do that. So let's just click on done. And there we have it. So that's for our first sheet. And we're going to do the same thing with our next two sheets right here. So let's move on with the Southwest sheet, select the same range, add a range on the right side, put in the name of your range, press enter. There you have it. Now for our criteria range for this sheet right here, Again, select that range, click on add a range on the right side and put in the name of your range. So that's Southwest criteria, press enter or click on done. There we have it. Moving on to our last sheet right here, which would be the West region. Again, do the same thing. Select that range, add a range, put in the name for that range, press enter. This time for our criteria range for this sheet right here. Select that range, click on add a range, put in your range name and press enter. And now we're done naming all of our ranges. Let's proceed with filtering our data. So let's go back to our filter sheets right here. There we go. We still have our name ranges panel right here, which can be your guide if you don't really remember what you've named your ranges. But let's go ahead and enter a formula. Start with your equal sign. Type in filter. There we go. Now we can input our range and to create the range and combine all of our data, we're going to be using curly brackets to create an array. So start with your opening curly bracket, put in the name of your range. So that's going to be our range right here without the word criteria. That's Midwest, Southwest and West. Start with Midwest. As you type it, there will be suggestions at the bottom where you can just click on it to select that range semicolon. So we're going to be using the semicolon to make sure that our data will be stacked on top of each other instead of having them in columns. So that's a semicolon for having your data stacked on top of each other in rows and a comma for having them next to each other in columns. So that's our first range. Next one would be our Southwest. Again, as you type the word suggestions will come out another semicolon. And for our last one, that will be the West. There we have it. Closing curly brackets. Now try not to forget these, this brackets right here, because if you do, there will be a red underline in your formula indicating that your formula is already wrong or it's already missing something. Next, we have our comma 
to move on to war conditions. For this one, again, we're going to be entering our array with our criteria ranges. Let's put those in curly brackets again. Open in curly bracket. Type in the name of your range. This time with the word criteria. Semicolon. Southwest. Criteria. Semicolon. And the last one, West criteria. Closing curly brackets. And if these ranges are equal to whatever we choose right here in this drop down closing parentheses and press enter it will show us our filtered data right here and there you have it so if let's say nothing is selected at the moment like so it will show us an na error telling us that there's nothing that matches your filter evaluation but if we do select something right here let's say the tripod set there we have it. Again, the filter data will be shown on your spreadsheet. Just in case you want to make sure that it doesn't show you that error, if nothing is selected on your drop down right here, you can just include the if error function quickly right here for your formula. It's your value, comma. If it's an error, then you just want it to show a blank space in quotations, closing parentheses, and press enter. Again, if let's say this would be blank, no error will be shown right here. If I do select a criteria, it will show it right here. And there you have it. That's how to use the filter function on multiple sheets with the help of named ranges here in Google Sheet. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.